Hello everyone. I am Akshita studying in 8th sem ECE Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bengaluru. Today I am going to present a very interesting topic of power system security with cyber physical power system operation under the guidance of Lakshmi Manasa ma'am. These are the contents which includes introduction, literature survey, objectives, methodology, types of cybercrime, application, results, uh, conclusion and references. Introduction. Cyber physical power system is an a power system that combines the physical and computational aspects of power system operation. Cyber physical power system operation refers to the use of digital technologies and communication networks to monitor, control and manage the power of operation of power system in real time. The integration of cyber physical system into, into power system operation it brings in new opportunities and challenges for power system security. Technology measures the Includes the use of insecure communication protocols, encryption, firewalls, and other cyber security technologies to protect the power system from the cyber threats. Uh, to ensure that power system security is a context of a cyber physical power system operation, it will be needed and that it includes both the technical and organizational measures. Let us discuss what is cyber security. Cyber security is the protection of a internet connected system which including the hardware, software and data from the cyber attacks. In a computing context, security comprises, uh, comprises the cyber security and the physical security. Both are user enterprises to protect against unauthorized access to the data centers and other computerized systems. Information security, which is then a design to maintain the confidentiality, integrity and the availability of a data is a subset of cyber security. These are the literatures which I had referred, uh, Hathar, X, Pang, and Y, Kuyu, and H, Liu in the year of 2021, they proposed a new op uh, approach for anomaly detection and mitigation in the cyber physical system, which can help to identify in the response the potential threats in the real-time, improving the overall security of the power grid. We're coming to the cons, it assumes a high level of technology enterprise of any part of any reader and it may be difficult to understand for those without any background of a cyber physical power system grid security. And next, why Zhang and R, why you and why W Lang in the year of 2022, he proposed a new approach for secure and resilient control in the cyber physical system for the smart grid, which is based on the deep reinforcement learning they does not provide a detailed analysis of any potential limitations approach such as any computational complexity on complexity or implementation challenges and the next it covers a broad range of a topic related to the iiot security and the privacy which including the threat models attacks detection and prevention access in the control and the data privacy the article will present a number of cases studies of an example illustrating real world applications iiot security and privacy in the smart grid when it comes to the cons they focus primarily on the challenges of the opportunity related to the iiot security and privacy it does not provide a detailed evaluation of a specific solutions of all approaches and let hex lu you and x U Y Gun in the year of 2022, he provided a comprehensive overview of the current state of research in the field of a blockchain based security, how it can be applied to smart grid operation. They focused preliminarily on the application of a blockchain of the smart sec grid security and does, uh, does not explore other potential solutions and approaches. Next, let us discuss the objectives. To integrate these source efficiently and reliably, to provide the renewable energy sources are integrated into the power system in a way that maintains the system stability and reliability. To ensure that the power system operates reliably and stably under the normal and abnormal operating conditions. Next, coming to the methodology. In the methodology, there is a uh, we are discussing on the topic of power system cyber security in the physical cyber security, physical system and uh, cyber system and social system, which has physical system. Uh, let us discuss about the physical system is can be analyzed and it will be modeled using a mathematical technique. 
and computer stimulation which can be helps the researchers better understand how they work and predict their behavior under different conditions in the cyber security it will be refers to the practice of protecting computer systems networks and digital data from the unauthorized access theft damage and other ma malicious activities these field of cyber security includes a variety of disciplines such as an network security information security application security and the operational security in the inter interdependence these uh, all uh, the three layers of interdependence framework of cyber physical power system in this operation interdependency on the function on the topologies on the facilities let us uh, go for the uh, interdependence on the facilities it is a basic layer of reflecting the cyber uh, physical coupling in the elements such as an int intelligent substations Invert, uh, inverter based distributed generators and smart buildings in the tropologies like coming to the tropologies layer the transmission network and the physical site of the opgw based optical transmission network on the cyber side it will be strongly independent besides the power line communication technology and also it will be uh, the results of it will be similar to the interdependence of the cyber physical tropologies it is a similar results for the cyber physical tropology since may it will be advanced information systems which will be developed for the operation of the power system in the function layer these energy flow and the information flow is highly interdependent these uh, new futures are multi layer interdependence of the cyber physical power system it will be also assure the challenges and research interests interest the existing of the methodologies and mainly focusing on the physical side or the cyber side respectively and have not uh, paid enough attention to the interdependence or interaction of these two parts to reach a better understanding of this interdependence and the security of a cyber physical power system it will be modeling and operating and to control the power system should therefore uh, consider the cyber physical system is an independent characteristics interdependence characteristics next coming to the cia thread of information security how we the information will be secured confidentiality integrity and the availability these are the three which is ensures the data or the information system which will be accessed only as an authorized person when it is in the confidentiality in the integrity it assures that the data or the information it can be trusted and it will be edited by the authorized person and it remains the original state with the rest availability is data and the information systems are available when it will be required next is security and the privacy security security refers to how your personal information will be protected by ourselves privacy related to any right you have any control your personal information and how it will be uh, used for example privacy policies data privacy and the types of cyber crime these are the types which has an a hacking phishing denial of services spam email spyware adware malware and atm seeking and point uh, scale crimes Ro next is hacking how oh, hacking is an a simple term means an illegal initiation into a computer system or a network it is also known as an a cracking government or a website or a or treasures of the hackers due to the press coverage and it will be received phishing is when a fraud um, fraud lent attempt usually made through email or to steal your personal information it is an attempt to obtain the sensitive information such as any username password and credit card details often the malicious reasons to as an electronic communication such as an email a common online phishing scam starts with an email message that appears to come from the trusted source and but actually directs the recipients to provide the information to the fraudulent website fraud setters how the fraud setters will be phishing build a fake site we, we build has an a fake website and it sent a thousands of an a phishing emails with as an a link of an a fake website uh vitamin uh, it click on the link when the email believing it 
and it leg uh, legitimate they enter the personal information fraudsters compile their stolen they will compile their information of the data and they will sell in it online or it is used by themselves denial of the services uh, this is an act by the criminals who floods the bandwidth of the vitamin networks in the devois act and the hacker uses a single uh, internet connection to either exploit a software uh, uh, or flood a target with the fake request usually it is an attempt and exhaust the server is yours as devois when a single host hacker ddvos is multiple host hacker simultaneously and continuously spam email it is an electronic vision or it is an a junk mail it involves the sending unwanted messages after unsociated advertising to the large number of recipients spam is an a serious security concern and it can be used to deliver the trojan or its virus forms spyware and targeted phishing attack it is a malicious software such as a virus worms trojan uh, which is specifically designed and distributed damage computer system of mobile device hackers use malware for any number of reasons such as an exhausting personal information or a password stealing money or preventing owners from the accessing their devices virus are the programs that attach themselves to a computer or a file and then it uh, circulate themselves to other files to other computers on a network they usually affect the data on the computer on the mobile device either by alerting or deleting it worms and like virus do not need to host the attach themselves they may um, they make a functional copies or themselves and do not repeatedly till eat up all the available space on the computer memory trojan can infect you in the place where you might not expect it such as an emails downloads and more it always better to be a safe than so when it comes to the avoiding these type of malware advantages of power system cyber security fast way to ensure the safety in the various real world processes ensures efficiently in the various real world processes improvement in the life quality of for countless people potential to bring a positive revolution to the world can perform the countless calculations instantaneously coming to the results of an implementing the power system security with the cyber physical power system operation can significant by integrating the advanced automation and control the system which is traditional physical security measures power grid operation can be achieved increased reliability by optimizing the power generation and distribution cyber physical power system operation can be helps ensure the reliable deliver and electric city to the consumers and as it relates in the event of any physical or cyber attacks on the power grid cyber physical power system operation can help quickly to detect and respond to the threat minimizing the impact and consumers to the reducing downtime when the coming to the cyber physical power system operation it will be allows and real time monitoring response of to the potential cyber physical security threats reducing the risk of successful attacks that could compromise the power grid coming to the conclusion the security of a power system is becoming increasingly important as our real land and electricity goes grows with the rise of and cyber physical power system operation there is an a new challenges to ensuring the cyber security and the reliability of the power grid cyber security threats can have a physical consequence and physical fa failures can explode by the cyber attack therefore it is essential to take the holistic approach to the power system security by combining the traditional physical security measures with the modern cyber security techniques cyber physical power system operation will provide a new opportunity for improving the security and efficiency of the power grid advanced automation and it will be control the system can help and detect the response to the security threat in the real time while also optimizing the power generation and distribution however this system must be designed with the security in the mind of tested before deployment these are the references i referred and thank you one and all